on today's episode of Am I Triton? Half height tray rack. So in today's episode of MR Triton, I'm going to take you through a quick build of my half height tray rack or half height canopy, whatever you want to call it. I'll show you the removal of the tray rack, gutting my existing setup, including the water and lighting, and then I'll show you some of the build process and finish off with a walk around of the finished product. Hope you enjoy. So pretty much the situation is I need to re-weld on the, the Max Trax carrier because it broke off on the Air Peninsula trip. But in order to do that, I need to remove the entire rack, which means I need to remove the rooftop tent which I might as well remove the water tank and the drawer system. Oh, this is gonna be a big job. The carpet is so wet, it's disgusting and it smells really mildewy. and save it for later. What you doing, Brad? What you doing, big boy? What are you doing? Wow. I had to call on the big guns for help. So now it's time to remove the rooftop tent, which is a bit of a pain. And this is how the rooftop tent connects to the tray rack. So the tray rack is just a basic cross section rack going from one side to the other, and the top to the bottom. So basically what it has, it's got four points of contact here. Remove these. And the rooftop tent will come straight off. Well, that was a job. All right, so the tent is undone. I removed the fastening brackets, but we're just gonna take this one off and we can start removing the uh, the rack itself. Bloody So that's the water pump wiring. So everything there is ready to be reattached. Just need to feed it back through the tub wall, through the rear wall of the cabin. When I work out what I'm gonna do next. It didn't come loose at all. After a year of corrugations and hard off-roading, held up all right. I can't remember how many days later. Tray rack modifications. Alrighty, so as you can see, the tray rack has been made taller. So basically what we're doing, this is the bottom, this is the top. So it'll be like that. And so this being the rib, we open 20 centimeters higher than it did originally. And then we'll have a drawer that will come out of the left hand side of the rack. And once it's painted and finished, I'll get a canvas person to put canvas around it. So it'll be a half height tray rack. Then we'll put the rooftop tent on top, lighting, water, beautiful. Didn't film any of the grinding or welding because that, that's just messy. It just would take too long, ruin the camera. It's just not worth it. So what we'll do is we'll continue on from this point.
So with the previous design tray rack, it was like minimum height. It sat flush with the top of the tub. And that was pretty good design. Um, it allowed for me to make the tub relatively watertight. The rooftop tent sat on it very nicely. It was comfortable to sleep in, etc. What I've done here is I've raised it by 16 centimeters, 20 centimeters in total. So we've got 20 mil, 16, and another 20 here. So that's how high it sits now. And what that enables me to do, is it enables me to have greater storage space in the rear of the vehicle. So if you can envisage this with a set of drawers in here at a reasonable height, I could do half double height drawers and I could do a fridge on a fridge slide or there's better room to move in case I ever need my back seats. Now, looking at this and one of the issues I had with my previous tray rack setup, I didn't have a way of making it fully watertight. Now, don't get me wrong, I could have put a bit of sicker seal or silicon and some sort of covering on top and close it up all right but it was too short. So what I've done is I've repurposed. The top here is the original tray rack. As you can see, I've had to extend that original tray rack in order to facilitate the full length of the tub. And that way it enables it to finish here. And so the whole idea is when the tub goes closed, it'll sit most of the way, pretty much all the way closed. And so the idea from here is then to canvas it. So what I'll do is I'll have a half height canopy or a half height tray rack. The whole idea with the rear of the tailgate will be for a zipper to be placed here and the zipper to be placed here. Now the flap at the rear of the tub, rack, whatever you want to call it, will overlap the tailgate by about that much. And the zipper will be a heavy duty zipper. And that zipper will be strong enough to hold that flap down as the vehicle is moving and also in general. So as the rain falls down, it won't necessarily have anywhere to collect. It'll just sort of brush off the vehicle. And if the vehicle's moving, the rain will just come past. Anyway, that will enable me to put more sensitive electronic devices, my 12 volt setup in there perhaps, 12 volt sockets, etc., in there, as well as a more serious lighting setup than I had previously. This side will be a blank flat canvas section. And what that'll do is that'll just be sealed up. Now, in case you're wondering, the rooftop tent that I had previously, the King's one, I still like it. It's going back on and it's gonna still drop off to the left hand side of the vehicle as it did previously for easy access to the fridge and it'll sit right on here. So the idea is when I've canvassed the top of it, then I'll do some eyelets for the support bolts to go through. It'll sit quite nicely. So at this point, the next step is for me to locate a canvas maker, sewer, whatever you want to call them, and basically you'll get them to quote me up, get a design going. I'll try and show as much of that as I can as well. Now being fairly creative as well, I had to get this drawer designed and made. I couldn't not put something cool in here. This drawer is just a prototype. As you can see, it's quite rough. The carpeting is quite rough. I'm gonna remove it, I'm gonna paint it up nicely. It'll look a bit more professional. This just came from Bunnings, it's about 30 something dollars and it's pretty much identical to what you would find in your commercial uh, like King's drawers or more serious expensive drawers. I've repurposed a fair bit of the old drawer system from the previous setup, so that'll work nicely. I'm not sure what I'm gonna put in here yet. I'm not sure whether I'm just gonna chuck recovery gear in here for easy access. This whole side will be canvas with a heavy duty zipper here and a heavy duty zipper here. So it'll be pretty inconspicuous unless you know the vehicle, then you know to look for it. So you might be wondering why not just buy one of the commercially available tray racks or tub racks that are out. Well, the reason is, I guess, I'm a creative person and I like to express that creative energy and my passion of overlanding and full driving. A lot of those racks out there are around six or $700, pretty expensive as well. I don't offer like a water tight or rain resistant setup. There are setups out there for over a thousand dollars. Why not just make my own? You know what I mean? I'm decent with a welder. I can weld things together. And, and if I mess the welds up, I go over it again and grind it and repaint it. So it looks pretty good. Why spend money that you don't need to spend? And that's my whole ideology or my whole intent behind my overlanding experience. It can be very expensive to overland. Now, what I've just created myself there for, if you include the price of a $300 gasless Megazito welder from Bunnings and RHS, which is about another two, three hundred dollars worth of RHS, a couple of cans of spray paint, grinder I already owned. You're looking at about six hundred dollars there. But now I own a welder, and I have made multiple different things since buying the welder. And all I had to do was modify the existing tray rack, which I'd previously manufactured, and buy some more RHS steel, weld it together. I also managed to make that nifty little drawer set up there too, coming out the side. It doesn't take up very much space. It's quite high up. I'm not gonna need to go back in that far to the to the, the tub or the tray to access anything. And it's gonna make for me to be able to create a really cool 12 volt setup in the back there that I'm really excited about. I'll do some kind of a power wall setup with charges, 
cooking devices, lighting. I'm really excited with where I'm going with this. Now, don't be alarmed. I'm still going to continue on with my current scheduling of bar work and snorkel video and that sort of stuff. But I thought this was just a really cool thing that I've done myself that will hopefully inspire you to do something similar. I didn't actually know how to weld until I bought this welder. Watched a bunch of YouTube videos and got stuck into some RHS and had a project and created this tub rack or this tray rack for myself. In fact, I'm not even sure what to call it. Would you call it a half-height canopy or would you call it a half-height tray rack? I'm not sure. Maybe I've created something new here. Don't know. So as always, make sure you like, share, and subscribe if you've enjoyed this video. And as always, thank you for watching. See you in the next one.